Hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel on Engineering Mathematics. This video is continuation of my previous video on gamma function examples. Link of that video is given in the description box. Now in this video also we solve integrals by using gamma function and its properties. So let us see next example in the queue. Here we are asked to evaluate integral of log of x whole raised to 4 dx over the limit 0 to 1. Very first of all, we label this integral as i. Then we compare this integral with definition of gamma of n, which is integral of e raised to minus x into x raised to n minus 1 dx over the limit 0 to infinity. And we decide the required substitution, which will transform this integral into this form. Here, suitable substitution is log x is equal to minus t. Then taking exponential of both the sides, we will have x is equal to e raised to minus t. Therefore, dx will be equal to minus e raised to minus t dt. Now let us see limits for t. For that, we substitute these x limits into this equation. When we put x is equal to 0, here we see e raised to minus t is equal to 0. Therefore, t is equal to infinity. Similarly, when we put x is equal to 1 here, we see e raised to minus t is equal to 1. Therefore, t is equal to 0. Now, we will transform this integral i from variable x to variable t. So, now i will look like an integral from infinity to 0 of minus t raised to 4 into dx is minus e raised to minus t dt minus t raised to 4 is just t raised to 4. Let us take out this minus sign. Then we have e raised to minus t into dt. According to the property of integral calculus, if we swap these limits, we will have a minus sign outside the integral. So that minus sign and this minus sign will together give you plus sign. Now integral will have limits 0 to infinity into e raised to minus t t raised to 4 dt. Then by definition of gamma of n, we can write this integral as gamma of 4 plus 1 that is gamma of 5. This is value of the given integral. I hope you understood this solution. Now let's go ahead with example number 8. Here we are asked to evaluate an integral from 0 to 1 of x into log x whole cube dx. Once again, we begin by labeling this integral as i. Then we compare this integral with the integral definition of gamma of n, which is integral from 0 to infinity into e raised to minus x into x raised to n minus 1 dx. And we decide a appropriate substitution, which will transform this integral into this form. Here required substitution is log x is equal to minus t. Then we have x is equal to e raised to minus t and dx is equal to minus e raised to minus t dt. Now limits for t will be when x is 0, t will be infinity and when x is 1, t will be 0. Now let's transform this integral i. So integral i will become integral from infinity to 0 into this x cube will become e raised to minus t cube and log x cube becomes minus t cube. dx will be minus e raised to minus t dt. This e raised to minus t whole cube can be written as e raised to minus 3t into e raised to minus t is e raised to minus 4t. Minus of t raised to 3 can be written as minus t cube then this minus into this minus becomes plus. Now finally we swap these limits because of which we will have minus sign outside the integral. This new integral is also not in the form of gamma of n. Therefore we will use one more substitution that is 4t is equal to u. Therefore t is equal to u by 4. 
dt is equal to du by 4 and limits for u will be as follows. When t is 0, u is also 0 and when t is infinity, u is also infinity. Now let us transform this integral. So this integral i will now become minus of integral from 0 to infinity of e raised to minus u into t cube is u by 4 whole cube into dt is du by 4. Now let us take out these constants. Here constants are 1 by 4 cube into 1 by 4. That is 1 by 4 raised to 4. So we have minus 1 by 4 raised to 4 outside the integral and inside we have e raised to minus u into u cube du. Now when we compare this integral with definition of gamma of n, we see n is 4. Therefore by definition value of this integral can be written as gamma of 4. Therefore value of the given integral is minus 1 by 4 raised to 4 into gamma of 4. Now let's go ahead with next example. Here we are asked to evaluate value of the integral from 0 to 1 of cube root of log of 1 by x dx. In the beginning we label this integral as i then we compare it with the definition of gamma of n and we decide a suitable substitution. Here suitable substitution is log of 1 by x is equal to t. Then taking exponential on both sides we get 1 by x is equal to e raised to t therefore x is equal to e raised to minus t. Hence dx is equal to minus e raised to minus t dt. Now let us see limits for t. When x is 0, this t is infinity and when x is 1, t is 0. Now let us transform this integral i. Integral i will be integral from infinity to 0. This log of 1 by x is t. So log of 1 by x raised to 1 by 3 is t raised to 1 by 3 and dx is minus e raised to minus t dt. Now we swap these two limits. So we will have minus sign outside the integral. That minus sign into this minus sign becomes plus. So we have integral from 0 to infinity into t raised to 1 by 3 into e raised to minus t dt in the next step. Now by definition of gamma of n, we can write the value of this integral as gamma of 1 by 3 plus 1 that is gamma of 4 by 3. This gamma of 4 by 3 can also be written as 1 by 3 into gamma of 1 by 3. This is due to property of the gamma function which says gamma of n plus 1 is equal to n into gamma of n. I hope you understood every step of this solution. Now let's go ahead for next example. Here we are asked to evaluate integral from 0 to infinity of 5 raised to minus 4x square dx. Once again we begin by labeling this integral as i. Then we compare it with definition of gamma of n that is integral from 0 to infinity of e raised to minus x into x raised to n minus 1 dx. And we decide the suitable substitution which will transform this integral. So here suitable substitution is 5 raised to minus 4x square is equal to e raised to minus t. Now to find out dx and limits for t, we will simplify this equation. We will take log on both sides. So we have minus 4x square into log 5 is equal to minus t. Therefore, x square is equal to t upon 4 into log 5. This minus and this minus sign will get cancelled. Now taking square root of both sides, we have x is equal to t raised to half upon 2 into log 5 raised to half. Now let's find out dx. So dx will be half t raised to minus half dt upon 2 log 5 raised to half. Now let's find out limits for t. For that you can use any of these equation and substitute these x limits in it. 
So if we put x is equal to 0 in this equation, we see t is also 0. And if we put x is equal to infinity into this equation, we see t is also infinity. So limits for t are 0 and infinity. Now let's transform this integral i. Integral i will be now integral from 0 to infinity. 5 raised to minus 4x square can be now written as e raised to minus t. dx is half t raised to minus half upon 2 log 5 raised to half dt. This half into half becomes 1 by 4. Now let us take out the constant terms. Here this denominator is entirely a constant. So we take it out. So inside the integral we have e raised to minus t into t raised to minus half dt. Now by definition of gamma of n, we can write value of this integral as gamma of minus half plus 1 that is gamma of half. And we know gamma of half is root pi. So value of i is root pi upon 4 into log 5 raised to half. I hope you understood this solution. Let us go ahead for next example. Here we are asked to evaluate integral from 0 to infinity of x raised to m minus 1 upon m minus 1 raised to x dx. So let us first label this integral as i. Then we compare it with the gamma functions definition. And we choose a suitable substitution which will transform this integral into integral in the definition of gamma of m. So here suitable substitution is m minus 1 raised to x is e raised to t. Now to find out dx and limits for t, we will simplify this by taking log on both sides. So we have x into log of m minus 1 is equal to t. Therefore x is equal to t upon log of m minus 1 and dx is equal to dt upon log of m minus 1. To find limits of t, we substitute x limits in this equation. When x is 0, t also 0 and when x is infinity, t also become infinity. So limits for t are from 0 to infinity. Now we transform this integral i into t. So i will be integral from 0 to infinity. x raised to m minus 1 is t upon log of m minus 1 raised to m minus 1. This m minus 1 raised to x is e raised to t and dx is dt upon log of m minus 1. Now let us simplify this. To do so, we will take out the constant terms and we will take this e raised to t in the numerator. Here, this log of m minus 1 has degree m minus 1 and there is one more log of m minus 1 here. So when we multiply them together, degree of log of m minus 1 become m. So after taking it out, we have 1 by log of m minus 1 raised to m outside the integral. And inside we have t raised to m minus 1 into e raised to minus t into dt over the limit 0 to infinity. Then by definition of gamma of n, we can write value of this integral as gamma of m minus 1 plus 1 that is gamma of m upon this outside constant which is log of m minus 1 raised to m. This is value of the given integral. I hope guys you understood all the solutions that we have discussed in this video. I will be coming with more such interesting videos. Till then, thank you. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe my YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get updates about my new videos.